This was the scene after a small plane crash at Owens Field in the capital city. Columbia police say the pilot of this power glider was the only person on board and was taken to a local hospital. Still no word yet on the pilot's condition, but here's what we know. The crash happened on the runway around 1130 this morning. The airport was shut down for hours, not allowing planes to land or take off until 230. That's where we find News 19's Tai Wong. He is there live tonight. Ty, the Federal Aviation Administration is investigating the cause. Have we gotten any updates? Hi, Darcy. No, we have not received any updates at this moment. All we know about the airport is that, as you just mentioned, you know, the airport traffic did start flowing again at 245. But here are some things that we do know for a fact. According to the Columbia Fire Department, the crash happened early this afternoon, and CFD and CPD both responded to the scene to work together to get the pilot out of the plane and transport it to a nearby hospital. Now, I spoke with one local resident who lives just a couple hundred feet away from the runway, and she says, incident like this is a common thing. The Rosewood section, I seen all the police everywhere and I was wondering what was going on. And then when I got down here across by the bridge area, I seen the plane on the ground and I was like, oh my God, I'm glad it didn't crash into our apartment complex. Letheta Ball relieved her home and neighbors are safe after a single rider power glider crashed on the Jim Hamilton Owens Airport runway just a couple hundred feet from her home at around 1130 a.m. on Thursday. Heart beating, my heart racing of it because I got two daughters at home and good thing it didn't crash into our apartment complex area. Firefighters with the Columbia Fire Department were among the first called to the scene. Public Information Officer Mike DeSuma says luckily the crash occurred on the runway with no one around. Our understanding is the plane was coming in for landing um, when it crashed. DeSuma says there was only one person involved in the crash and that was the pilot. The pilot is a single seater aircraft, only one person on board. The pilot was not entrapped in the aircraft, uh, but EMS arrived on scene with our crews. We assisted in getting the patient uh, from the aircraft uh, and then packaged him for transport by EMS. He was taken to the hospital for his injuries. No fire was reported at the scene of the crash and no major oil spillage. The identity of the pilot has not been released, neither was the extent of his injuries. According to both DeSuma and Ball, similar incidents have occurred in the past. We're right next to the airports. We hear them coming in all the time. Uh, jets, all, everything. You can hear them real loud by the brick wall area all the time. Um, hoping and praying that it don't crash into our apartment complex. Darcy and Kaylin, I am still at the airport, as you mentioned earlier. Now, as you can see behind me, under that blue tarp, I know the sun is setting, but if you look closely, you can see the power glider, and it is damaged um, and taped off for investigators to look at. Now, the FAA is currently investigating this incident, and we will continue to follow up with more details as they become available. But for now, reporting at the Jim Hamilton Owens Airport, Taiwan News 19, WLTX.